and the Duran. Based on the book George and the Duran by Chris Wormel. Story adapted by Will Frankhauser. Far, far away in the high, high mountains, in a deep, deep valley, in a dark, dark cave, there lived a mighty dragon. He could fly higher than the clouds and faster than all the birds. He could burn down a forest with a blast of his fiery breath. He could smash a castle wall with a flick of his mighty tail. And he could brush away an army with a sweep of his mon monstrous wing. There was nothing so fierce and so terrible as the mighty dragon, but he had a secret, a big secret, well, actually, a very small secret. He was terrified of mice, which was a pity because that very day, a mouse moved into the cave just next door. Her name was Dory! Now, Dory didn't much care for the cave next door. It was cold and dark and drafty. The previous owner had been a bat, so the fixtures and the furniture was the most inconvenient. <laughs> And the nearest tea shop was miles and miles away. Dory was feeling rather miserable and to make matters worse. She had no sugar for her tea. I know, said Dory. I'll just pop next door and see if I can borrow some. So sh she did! I say you couldn't loan me a couple of lumps of sugar, could you? Asked Dory. Ah! Screamed the dragon and, and fled. Oh no! Growed. Dory, no tea then. But Dory did get her tea after all with two lumps of sugar and she got cheese too and nuts and berries and, berries and biscuits and cracker, crackers and cream cheese sandwiches and jelly and ice cream and fairy cakes with pink ice cream and a cozy little hole in the castle wall. Beware of the mouse!